Guys, what's happening? Today we're gonna make one of my favorite game day snacks, and it is a smashed potato with bacon and cheese. I mean, so simple, so delicious. Check it out. First off, we start off with this beautiful bacon. And basically what I'm doing is we're taking these bacon ends, which is so much cheaper. Uh, since we're gonna crumble it up anyway over a potato, it doesn't really matter. You don't need big, beautiful strips. We're not making, you know, turkey clubs or anything like that. So get these ends. They're like a third of the price of normal bacon, but they're still smoked and delicious. All right. Are you finished? This guy, I swear, it's cocktail hour. It's a nut job, I'm telling you. All right, so uh, back to this. Look, I know ideally you start your potatoes off in cold water, and that's if you're gonna take them all the way. We're just gonna blanch these real quick. We're gonna get them pretty well close to done, and except for that one, are all going in the pot. And these guys are fingerling potatoes. These are my favorite for this dish because they just smash down like a couple of bites, man, and you get all the bacon and all the deliciousness that you want. And uh, then you go back for another one. I mean, I'll eat a dozen of these things. I don't care. Look, I mean, they're small, right? It's not like you're eating a whole baked potato. These are just perfect little bite-sized snacks. All right, while those are rolling, I've got my screen. Uh, we already cooked off some bacon, so we have some fat rendered actually in the pan. So I'm gonna pop the screen over here and all those ah, beautiful little bacon ends are gonna go right in here. So we're just gonna crisp these guys up, render off some of that fat, and then that's what we're gonna use to take the potatoes over, smash them down, give them a fry. We'll see you in a few minutes. We'll let this all become awesome. All right, see you in a few. So our bacon ends have perfectly crisped up. All that fat has been rendered out of there. Man, I'm telling you what, this is gonna be so delicious. We're just gonna bring those straight over onto a, a paper towel lined plate. We're gonna let that drain off just a little bit so they get extra, extra crisp. Our potatoes are still cooking. And let me tell you something, man, these are gonna be delicious. I'm so excited to finish this off and get them in my belly. Okay, so we're almost there. And our potatoes, our fingerlings are done, right? We just wanted to soften them up a little bit and we wanted to get them ready to go right into our hot bacon oil or grease. I mean, come on, what are we talking about? But it's rendered fat from bacon, so you know it's gonna be delicious and flavorful. So here's what we're gonna do. Check this out. Let me grab a fork. And look, these guys are fork tender, which is really important. Come on over and watch this. All right, we're gonna go right in and we're gonna smash. Oh, this one was a little big. It's a little weird shape, but you know what? That's gonna be all right. Look, two for one. I love it, I love it. All right, we'll get this guy. Let's try this guy. There we go. Boom, smash it right in the pan. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Hey, all right, so while these guys are cooking up, they're browning on one side, all I'm gonna do is this. Keep it super simple, all right? We have our sour cream, I'm gonna stir that up. Get that in a little dish. Watch how easy this is. And it makes an amazing sauce. I can smell this, uh, I can smell they're starting to, to talk to me a little bit. They're, they're, they're telling me that they're close. Oh yeah, they're browning up nicely. All right, let me get this. You flip it and go over. Ah! Woo! Ah! But I love it. We'll get back to the sauces in just a second. Let's put some cheese on these guys. I mean, why are we messing around here? Right, it's cheese time. Ba, ba, ba. Whatever cheese you like, American, uh, Monterey Jack, Colby, Swiss, Mott's. I mean, make it your own. That's what cooking is, right? Do whatever you want. That's what, I, that's what really drew me into cooking is, you know, there's no real rules. You can make everything as awesome as you want it to be. Look at that, just start to go. All right. I'm going with a little Mott's, a little Monterey Jack, a little bit of a, a well, I guess sliced cheddar, whatever, what was that? American? All right. Cheese. Pick a cheese and go with it, right? Mix it up, have fun. All right, this is coming along nicely. You can smell it. All right, real quick. While that's cooking off, I'm actually gonna move it off just a little bit. While that's going, look at this. Sour cream, your favorite hot sauce. Crystal, it's one of my favorites. Flavorful, it's hot, but it's not like blow your brains out. Just give it a little stir. Just give that sour cream just a little bit of color and a little bit of flavor. So I'm 
looking at my potatoes over there, and they're talking to me. They're saying, hey, get us out of here, man. They are ready to be in your belly. Don't worry, babies, I'm coming. <laughs> oh, I'm coming. Boom. Nice and easy. Second, uh, let's do this. You know why? Because I'm a simple guy. A little bit of ranch. Yes, that's the Southern California coming out of me, but I don't mind. Ranch delicious. Here we go. We like the ooey gooey. We like the cheese. Love the cheese. Look at the brown underneath there. That's what we're going for. We want that crispiness. We want that ooey gooey cheese. And like I said, you know, some of them are gonna come out real pretty. And some of them are just gonna beg to get in your belly. So there's no real wrong answer on these guys. You know what I'm saying? But look at that. Look, I dressed it up. I put it in a ring. Bada bing. It's in a ring. Check that out. All right. We're gonna have a ranch on the side. Now, what I don't want you to forget is all that love and what we got out of. Oh, oh. Dogs? Oh. Where all that, uh, that fat came from is from the bacon, right? Those guys are going right back on top. This is going to be amazing. And it was cheap, too. Okay, so we got our bacon ends on there. Man, you guys are going to kill her again. Super dirt cheap. Now, let's go for it. We have our hot sauce, our hot... Oh, man, these are, these are actually still really incredibly hot. Ah. I have to say, but I'm going to have to use a fork. That is super rare for me. I'm a finger guy. Look. It's browned. Has the sauce. Look at all that cheese. The bacon. Never enough. Why not? It's mine. More bacon. Mm. Mm. That potato is cooked to perfection. Brown, so it has that crust on the outside. Light and fluffy on the inside. Cheese, bacon, sour cream, just like a traditional potato. A little bit of hot sauce on the end. Man, forget about it. People are gonna love these things. And it took, what, 10 minutes? And that's including the bar bowl. Maybe 12. But no one's gonna matter. Put it out in front of your guests. They're gonna love it, I promise. Chomp, chomp, chewy. Try this at home. Riff on it. Try different toppings, try different sauces. Do whatever you want, man. It's cooking. Have fun with it. We'll see you in the next video. 